going on guys and welcome back, this is Rintin and welcome to another KM Strike. This time we're using the AK-12 for grip and this suppressor or silencer and we're using a specialist, no assault or uh, support chem strike here. I thought I'm going to set myself a goal, I'm going to go for a chem strike one night. I pulled one or two off, I've got one in free for all on my hard drive right now and this one. Uh, so the one in free for all will be a uh, future upload, probably in a couple of days or so. But main objective today is I've kind of gone a little series I want to true, uh, true try do, which is going to be a KM strike with one perk and uh, the satcom on free for all. And I've been trying it, and oh my god damn it is hard to get a chem strike of free for all with just one perk. I've chose to go with uh, fully loaded or scavenger, so I don't run out of ammo because I don't fancy having to pick up someone's weapon or trying to find a weapon for ages because that may cause me to fail it. But even though having ammo and uh, trying to play it is still worthy of a challenge. I've been trying it for a day or two now, it's kind of driving me insane. Because the highest I've got to is like an 18 strike and I've died and I'm like, Ugh, I just rage out and quit. So basically it's going to be like a little series I want to try to do, to be honest. I want to try to do it with random perks, like other perks. Maybe one or two perks maybe, because I think scavengers are going to have to be like a must be or fully loaded to like start with full ammo at least. Because I know it's only uh, free for all, and I might have to, be able to pick a weapon up, but I don't want to have to make it too hard for myself. Well, I do, and I don't at the same time because I hate raging and, and stress never does anyone any good, does it? Makes you go grey quicker. Well, not me, I've got a full head of hair. It might happen, it might not. But anyway, yeah, that's basically what I want to try to do. I've been trying it. I want to really get the gameplay because I think it'd be real cool. It'd be something a bit different. Um, I don't think, I haven't seen one on YouTube yet to date of uh, Call of Duty. Uh, without even without uh, any perks or streaks, so I think it might be a first or not, but I'm not too sure. But it's definitely something I want to try to do, even if I just accomplish it once, get one video of it. That'd be awesome as well. Um, just because I've done it, done it with one perk, got 25 kill streak with one perk. Ah, oh, I'd feel so good. So I'm gonna be sweating that for a few days. So I don't know if it'll even happen, or well, I truly do hope it happens. Uh, just because I think it'll be one of the best chem strikes, even better than one of the moabs I've ever got even compared to anything that I've got in a Call of Duty to be honest because everything else I've always used full perks and took advantage of all the perks you can get so I think going kind of naked but not fully naked would be awesome maybe doing it completely naked no perks no attachments um, completely naked that would that would be an insane challenge and that would be probably one of the best gameplays you'd probably see as in Chem Strike or Marv I think maybe there's better ones out there and maybe yeah there is you can get the real speedy quick ones that are like what under a minute but the fastest chem strike I've seen so far is just over two minutes I do believe um, that was only because I've seen someone like and comment on it but otherwise than that and I did watch it and it was pretty damn insane I would link you to it but I can't remember who it was or where it was so I mean you, you probably all seen it anyway but that's kind of the main topic as what I want to be trying to do is get a chem strike with one perk and the other thing is has anyone been watching or looked in order to do the leaks of the map pack stuff and the names? So apparently, Scrapyard is coming back. Well, I hope so, because that was one of my favourite maps from Modern Warfare 2. But apparently it's being renamed to Boneyard, maybe, possibly. I don't know, that was just like the in-game kind of name when it was kind of like a playlist accidentally leaked to uh, the PC playlist. So, I read up on about that, had a look at the little article that i seen a video on from another YouTuber. And I thought I'm gonna read up on this, see what it's all about. And it's pretty cool actually. It's um, got some cool names like Swamp. Uh, maybe, maybe it's gonna be like real junk, real jungly this time. A bit more worse than Prison Break. I don't know, but maybe like got some treetop climbs. Maybe like wood planks going from tree to tops. That'd be pretty awesome, I think. Proper f full-on stealth map. And obviously, we get a bit annoying because obviously, if people have got that full-on customized like a uh, ghillie suit from getting them 500 kills of a chrome line sniper rifle. That would be pretty hard to see them. That is pretty hard to see them anyway on Stonehaven or in a long grass green area. But otherwise, it's pretty awesome. Um, hopefully, the maps are going to be worthwhile because um, I did didn't really like the Modern Warfare 3 DLC to be honest. None of the maps really stood out to me apart from the returning ones from other Call of Duties like like the old ones. Can't really remember off the top of my head. I think Vacant was in there. Um, Overgrown. Some of the old school ones are pretty damn cool. Um, but other than that, I wasn't a fan of the new ones. Um, so basically. This is just a six minute cam, basically, nothing super speedy, because I kind of get real nervous when I get close. Start getting all sweaty, start getting all clammy in the hands, and I uh, get some close encounters, uh, it's kind of annoying. I wish I could be a little bit more speedier, but I'm just not that good yet. 
Uh, I used to be alright with them on Modern Warfare 3. Obviously never really posted them because they never used to work in theater mode. But anyway, that's just one of them things. But now I kind of learn from my mistakes and I record every single game uh, or every game I feel like recording. Sometimes I've recorded a game. I've not got a chem strike, but I've also done got damn good. And at this point right here, I kind of get a bit confused. I'm like, care package? I, sw I swear chem strikes don't come in care packages. I was all confused. I was thinking, what the fuck's going on here? Oh, what the hell is going on here? Sorry for the bad language. But I was like, what is going on here? Why have I got a care package? Like, tell me you have to. They've like authorized it, so you have to call it as a care package now, and then get it. So I was like, I really don't want to die while calling this care package in. But I'm gonna get a nice little two piece right at the end there, and I'm about to call this care package in. But thank God it is just underneath, and I do realise, and I'm like, whew, I actually got it. Don't have to wait for the care package. A uh, very close encounter about to come up. Just I was picking up the care package. So basically, I hope you like the new idea. I really want to be able to do it. Oh, okay, nice little satellite crash at the same time. That's pretty awesome. So I hope you're going to like the new idea, hopefully I can pull it off, and that will be damn straight amazing. So I hope you enjoyed this gameplay guys, if you please like, favourite, share it, that will be awesome. And I'll see you in a future video, this is Rintin, and peace out.